Today, I'm gonna test the best five-star Gorilla Tag fan games versus the worst one-star Gorilla Tag fan game in order to find out which fan game is actually the best. So let's hop right into the one-star Gorilla Tag fan game. Where are my arms and body? Oh, what the heck? I'm moving. Right when I loaded in, I noticed that my body was invisible and I did not have hands. I can already tell why this is a one-star Gorilla Tag fan game. What does this say? No name, no game? What does that mean? Okay, it actually works. Out of nowhere, I heard someone else's voice. Oh my gosh. Wait. Hello? Hi. Oh my god. There's a person in here. This is my first time playing this game. Can you show me around? Sure. So after asking him to show me around the map, he agreed to it and showed me all of the maps. Um, I need to finish typing my name quick. Are you like a YouTuber or something? No, I'm I'm a I'm a Facebook liver. I I do Facebook. Hmm. Hmm. All right, take me to the first spot. Where should we go? All right, I guess we're going this way. He first took me to the forest map. All right, this is the forest. Yeah, there is crash barriers. Crash barriers. Okay, I don't want to hit those. After the forest, he showed me that there was a shop. Yeah, there's no cosmetics. Wait, there's no cosmetics in the shop? Hey, there's a mirror. Oh, I can see what I look camp. like. Oh my gosh, I'm wide. The low gravity. Low gravity? Let's go there. He then showed me the low gravity room, which again is very surprising for one star. I don't know why this game was one star. You wanna play a game of tag? Me versus you in the low gravity? All right, ready? I'll be it first, you run. Ready, three, two, one, go. Watch this play, watch this play. Oh my gosh, I just bonked my head. After he showed me basically everything in the game, he said there was one more thing I needed to see which was a horror game mode. Is that it over there? Oh my gosh, here it is. I jumped down a giant hole with the other kid and he showed me the button to go into the horror game mode. All right, here's the button. Goodbye, bro. Yep. We both pressed the button, but we did not get into the same lobby. I was now on my own to play the rest of the horror map. So this is how it went. All right, there goes Logie. I am now in horror. Oh my God, this is actually way better than I expected for a one star fan game. There is no jump scare yet. Well, that makes things a little less scary. I guess I'll just walk down this hallway. All right, the hallways are definitely a little creepy and dark. I don't know, I've been running for a good minute and a half and I haven't seen anything except for red lights and hallways. Oh my gosh, I found a green button. Did I win? I'm gonna click it, I don't know. Oh no. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know, maybe that button spawned the monster. Okay, I'm literally stuck down here. I have no idea how to get out of here. Oh my god! Okay, that actually scared me really bad. If there was a jump scare, I probably would have just died to a heart attack. Okay, whether or not I can climb out of the map is gonna change my vote a lot. Here we go. I just crashed. What the heck? Crash barriers? Okay, I don't want to hit those. But after playing the entire game, I think that the game's ratings are definitely inaccurate. I feel as if a one-star game should be almost unplayable, and that game was actually decent. They had a ton of different modes, and it worked very well. It also had multiplayer. My final rating for the game, 3 out of 5 stars. But now it's time that I actually try a 3-star game and see if it's better than the 1-star. The next game is called Owl Chase. I'm expecting it to be a lot better than the one star. All right, I'm in. All right, the first thing I notice is that my hands are literally huge. I guess these are actually my wings. I wonder if I could fly. I don't think I could. It is also kind of dark here. Let's see if there's any players out here. I don't see or hear anyone. This is kind of lonely. Wait, this is a trampoline. We got to see if this bounces. I'm bouncing. Oh my God, it works. I do not like how big my hands are. It literally ruins my seeing. All right, here's a mirror. Let's see what we look like. Oh my gosh. Well, I look like an owl. I don't know what else I expect. All right, let's see if I could get into a game with anyone. Let's go to server one. That's not server one. I clicked every button but server one. All right, server one. There we go. Hello? Is anyone in here? Yep, still no one. What is this? Are these different skins? Oh my God, that is cursed. I want to be J-Man. Let's see what happens. What do I look like? Oh my god. Yeah, that is cursed. That is absolutely cursed. What other skins could I be? What is this, a grandma? Oh my god, I am a grandma now in Owl Chase. Yeah, this is definitely the most random game I've ever played. After playing the three-star game for a while, my Oculus started to feel really laggy. But after playing the game, it's time for my rating. Overall, there was not much to do in the three-star game. The game itself felt really buggy and the hands were just huge. 
Honestly, I think the only cool thing was the skins that you could put on. But overall, I think this game was overrated. I honestly think the one star game was better than the three star. My final rating for this game is two out of five stars. But now it's time for what we've all been waiting for. The five star game. But first, let's read some of the reviews on this game and see why it's so good. The first review is by Kai Gamilo 10 I think that's how you say it. This review is five stars and it says, Very fun game. Fun, fun, fun. Thank you, developer. I think he emphasized the fact that this game might be fun. Another review I found was by CJG Tag. This one says, The best Gorilla Tag fan game. These reviews so far have been very positive. One more review I found is by Glitch VR. He said, I keep almost my pants. That's a very interesting review. I haven't told you guys what game it is, but the game is big scary. One of the top rated fan games ever, and I am about to test it out for the first time. But first, it's announcement time, because I'm giving away 20,000 shiny rocks to my subscribers. All you need to do is be subscribed and be in my discord. You can join my discord in the link in the description, but let's go play the five star game. Alright, I am now in the 5 star Gorilla Tag fan game. Right off the bat, I could tell that the textures are way more high quality than the other games. And it looks like there was a Christmas update because there's a Christmas tree. Oh wow, there's 3,000 people on right now. That's pretty impressive for a fan game. Okay, first I need to make my name. Okay, let's type in Rax. The computer actually works in this game. That's not usual for most fan games. The model for this game is actually really good. So far, I can see why this game was 5 star. After exploring the main things of the game, it was time I actually hopped into the levels. But when I was going to try and find the first level, I ran into another player that said he would show me around the entire game. I'm assuming this is the shop. This actually looks so good. Ow, hey, cute. yo, watch, there's a frog behind you. What the heck? So, have you played this game before? Wait, no. your name's Rex. Uh, yes, it is. You are Th right. That's a YouTuber. It is? No, he's a Facebook Liver, I thought. Yeah. I well, here, I'll, I'll, I'll help you through the levels. I'll help you through the levels. Come let's on. go. So he took me to level one. Uh, is this level one? Level one. Okay, let's go. Once we pass here, we're not safe. Just run. Back. Oh my god! Run, run. Oh, nah. What is that thing? Hold on, I think it's stuck. Halfway through level one, we found the monster. But for some reason, it was stuck and was not chasing us. So the first level was fairly simple. We just ran through it and completed the level. But we are now on to level two. It's at the end of that hallway over there. Let's just go. Down the hole, I'm assuming. Yep. All right. Yeah. There's your frog. Hi, frog. He was waiting for me. Is this level three? Uh, yeah, this is level three. I guess we sped run level two because it went very quick. And somehow we were already on level three. And our goal for this level was to find all of the wheels without the monster catching us. Yeah, the third one is the hardest to find. Find the wheel. Okay. After wandering around and trying to find the wheel, we finally found it. Find the wheel. I know where the exit is. Oh. I picked it up. Now all we needed to do was find the exit and put the wheel in the exit. Is this the end of level three? Yeah. We made it. There we go. Oh my gosh, this fan game is actually insane. I ended up playing the entire game after level three, but if you want to see me play the entire game, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll make an entire video on Big Scary. Now for my overall rating of Big Scary, although the monsters did get stuck a few times, I still think it's a five star game. Everything about it was really, really good. There's not much bad to say about it. Make sure to subscribe and goodbye.